Welcome to Med Central. In this video, we are going to look at the pharmacology of the muscarinic receptor antagonists. Muscarinic receptor antagonists. These are used to treat COPD, emphysema, asthma, bronchiectasis, and chronic bronchitis. In these conditions, increased parasympathetic activity via the vagus nerve results in increased secretion of ACH. High levels of ACH act on bronchial smooth muscle and submucosal glandular cells, resulting in increased bronchial inflammation, mucus plugging, and bronchial smooth muscle constriction. Muscarinic receptor antagonists block the surge of the ACH on muscarinic receptors of the bronchial smooth muscles of the airway. Muscarinic receptor antagonists function by competitively blocking the binding of ACH to muscarinic receptors, resulting in an anticholinergic response. There are five different receptors M1, M2, M3, M4, and M5. The M1, M4, and M5 receptors are in the central nervous system. M2 receptors lead to increased heart rates. M3 receptors are in the smooth muscles of the GI tract, urinary tract, airway, and blood vessels. Muscarinic receptor antagonist binding to M3 receptors reduces intestinal peristalsis and bladder contraction reduces salivary and gastric secretions, reduces bronchial secretions, and increases bronchodilation. Mainly M3 antagonism. Less lipid-soluble than atropine. Minimal systemic absorption. Muscarinic receptor antagonists are divided into two categories by the duration of the action. Short-acting muscarinic receptor antagonists. Long-acting muscarinic receptor antagonists. Iprotropium is a short-acting muscarinic receptor antagonist quick relief of symptoms in asthma and COPD. Route of administration is metered dose inhalers, dry powder inhalers, and nebulizers. Tiotropium is a long-acting muscarinic receptor antagonist. It is used as maintenance therapy for COPD. Route of administration is dry powder inhalers. There are some adverse effects of muscarinic receptor antagonists. Dry mouth, throat irritation, midriasis, and photophobia. Contraindications. Acute asthma, myocardial infarction, hyperthyroidism, paralytic ileus, benign prostatic hyperplasia, urinary retention, narrow angle glaucoma, and myasthenia gravis. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in pharmacology, check out our pharmacology playlist and subscribe our channel to get notified when new videos are out. Thank you.